What's going on? Welcome back to another ASMR video and in this video I am very excited because it's about time I am doing a Stranger Things uh, Season 3 review uh, basically explaining my thoughts on the whole season, the show as a whole, things like that. So, um, Spider-Man Far From Home 1 will be will be being made very shortly so it will be out maybe after this one or just be expecting it because i'm very very excited to share that with you so with that said i have two pieces of gum here that i'm going to chew on while i talk you might be thinking why two i just prefer two Dust. 
Austin was not with his normal friend group, obviously. He was with Steve, Robin, and Erica. I did enjoy that. And then there was also, what was it, um, you know, like Lucas and Max and Eleven and I was going to say Finn, Mike. I, I just liked that they were split into groups. I thought that was so cool because like, and all their stories were good. Like literally like when we were watching, like, um, when I was watching, um, I got a scene with Lucas and Mike and Eleven and, um, and Max I would be like, what's going on with Steve and Robin, you know? And then vice versa. Like, I constantly... And it was so cool because within that episode, it would just switch between them or, you know, things like that. And it was so cool. And I found all their stories very interesting, even though they were... Like, I couldn't really pick one. Although, I did like the one with, you know, Steve and everybody. That was a good one. Oh. Nancy, Jonathan, and, um, Nancy, Jonathan, I can't remember who they were split up with, but, um, yeah, um, that was a very good, um, very good scenes, too. I really do like Jonathan and Nancy, but I like Steve, not gonna lie to you, I like Steve, I feel like we all do at this point, but Jonathan's a super nice guy, and, um, you know, Nancy and Jonathan, I ship it, so, you know, um, the scenes where Nancy was being made fun of, man, I was hoping that one guy, you know who I'm talking about, that one guy who made all the jokes would, um, get eaten or something, but he ended up getting, like, um, you know, infected or, I don't, I can't remember what happened, but he was like, I can't even explain it, but yeah, here's what I mean by it's already fading from my, my memory. I should have done this like the moment I finished. And I'm one of those guys who likes to not binge it. Like I like to binge, don't get me wrong, but I prefer to spread it out because I can't tell you. I mean, obviously we all waited the same amount of time to see season three, but dude, like, what, two years or something crazy to, to see this season, so I'm like, okay, I'm taking this slow, I finished it within, like, a week, although some people watched it, like, you know, they just binged it, and then finished it in a day, so, yeah, um, I prefer to spread it out, just because I waited, it was a long wait, and now, we gotta wait for season four, so, um, but yeah, so I like how they all were in their own scenario, and I very much liked how Dustin was split from the group, not because I didn't like him with them, but you wouldn't expect him to be with Steve and Robin and Erica, and the fact that it was up to him and Erica to actually, like, parent uh, Steve and Robin because they were drugged by the Russians. So, moving on to Alexi, rip it, just, it's a rip, it's just a rip, man, like, wow, that was such a sad scene, man, like, Alexi is such an innocent dude, like, you can totally just see, like, and he was so happy, he wanted teddy bear, I mean, he popped a balloon and everyone was so excited, and then that Russian dude, got called in, obviously, and I want to say something about Hopper. Now, I thought the Russian guy would be very interesting this season, just because I'm like, no one is really like a fighter, like no one can really fight. Now, obviously, Hopper isn't like weak or anything, but I totally underestimated his fighting skills by like a long shot. Like, I thought he would get beaten up by the Russian guy, but it was a pretty fair fight. Like, I thought this guy was, like, fit and, like, buff, but Hopper put up, like, a good fight. And, obviously, in the end, he actually ended up beating the Russian guy, which I was, like, I just got so scared, because I'm, like, if Hopper, or if no one has a gun, they're really screwed. Like, they're only, they're only chances if they have a gun, but I was wrong. Their 
there is a fighter in the group. I mean, again, I knew Hopper wasn't, like, terrible, but um, I definitely under, underestimated his fighting skills, especially, especially against, like, a Russian guy. So, um, I kind of just want to skip to this, um, because that's what everybody at least was talking about. So, is Hopper dead? Okay. You want my honest answer? I 1 million percent do not think he is dead. Okay. He's not dead. What? That's crazy. Okay. So, if you're a believer of this, cool. If you're not, let me try to convince you. So, Hopper. Okay, for starters, I'm going to sidetrack here. We're going to sidetrack. I think, obviously, if Joyce pulled the keys sooner, Billy would still be alive, and that makes me mad. I saw a comment that said that, and I was like, are you kidding me? You're right. Like, she took so long. Then again, she obviously wanted Hopper to make it out of there. I, I don't know, dude. Like... Billy could still be alive because that thing took a little bit of time to finish off Billy. So, if Joyce turned the keys, could have survived. But, you know, that I guess they wanted him to die off. I don't know. So, anyway, back to Hopper. So, for starters, end scene. We don't normally get end scenes unless there's something something juicy, something that can make you say, oh, I gotta watch this next season. So, the Russian says, get the American. So, listen to my theories, because there's other people saying, it's like, um, I can't remember his or her name, it's like a doctor or something. I have, we have theories for that too, don't worry. So, for starters, there's no way, okay, so these people blast away, right? She turns the keys, Hopper smiles, and these people, pff, right? If you pause, literally, it shows the machine right after Hopper smiles, like, breaking down. Hopper's not even there. And you saw him looking back at the opening into the upside down. So clearly, if he's not there and he kept looking at the opening, he jumped in the opening. No one saw Hopper die. It didn't show it in the show and Joyce's eyes were closed, so she didn't see if Hopper died. Obviously, she assumes, but whatever. So, I don't know how the, I thought some people said, like, maybe because there was, um, the Russians got him because th they were trying to open the Upside Down in Russia or something at the very beginning of the, the show, and he, like, came out the other end, and they got him. Um, could be... Or, here is another exciting, well, okay, I'm going to sidetrack again. Also, David Harbour, his beard is growing out. A lot of comments on YouTube videos saying that seems like a, in a Russian p prison, like, beard, you know. So, I thought that was funny, and I do think it's true. So, um, anyway, another theory, right? Someone said, and I think this is genius, because I think they might do it. I think they might just bite on this idea, or they already had it, obviously. Someone said they might try to trick us. They might open the season with that, that American in prison actually not being Hopper, being that whoever everybody said it was, because I forget. But they're like, oh, maybe they'll open the season or something with that person being the American, everybody's going to freak out and be surprised, but Hopper's stuck in the Upside Down, he still is alive, and they have to get him out. I think that's pretty smart, because when I thought about it, I'm thinking everybody knows Hopper's alive, like everybody assumes he's alive, wouldn't it be so predictable at this point to make the American Hopper? They could still do that, I'm not saying that's a problem. But I do think it'll be super, super cool if they kind of tricked us up a bit with making uh, the American not Hopper. Because maybe they assumed we fans would, would realize that. And on top of that, Eleven, someone pointed out, does not have her powers, obviously, anymore. They're weakening or something's going on. So it would be, like, a hard to access see, oh, to see Hopper in the upside
upside down. Like they all think he's dead and she just starts to lose her powers or she can't even see if Hopper's alive, if that makes sense. It's just all really bad timing. And another thing somebody pointed out, the time where um, Will, Will's dead body, when it really was the stuffed body, there was a song playing when um, that, that there was like a fake death, I guess you could call it. And the same song apparently was playing when Hopper died. So, f fake death song plays. Hmm. Now, we take it over to Hopper's death scene. The same song plays. So, I am like 99% sure Hopper is alive. Um, I think he's gonna, he's gotta stay in. He's gotta stay in. And again, it's not just like, oh, I love Hopper. He's gotta, even though it sounds like that because I do love Hopper, but it's not like me saying, oh my gosh, he's like, he's my favorite. He can't die. Like, all the facts really do add up to like 99% he's alive. So, I really do think he's alive because there's so many things. And again, if it is that like trick where he's not the American but he's in the Upside Down or something. That would also be super, super cool. I think that's such a cool idea. So we got through the Lexi. I mean, man, he just wanted a, uh, was it a cherry or strawberry? Please don't kill me, guys. I think it was a strawberry, but they only had cherry. Wait. Man, people are going to kill me for this. That was a cherry. He got a strawberry, but he wanted a cherry Slurpee. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he wanted a cherry. Sorry about that. Again, it's been a little while. I do like all the, the memes and jokes with um, Joyce. As in there's something with um, season one. Is like my will okay? Season two is my will gonna die or you know something like with Will, and then season three is like like a like a twenty second clip of her just talking about these magnets falling off. She's like Hopper, look look, why are these magnets? You know, Alexi, why are these magnets falling off my fridge? You know things like that. So I did enjoy those because I guess now that I think about it, she was really talking about those magnets a lot. Uh, for good reason, but, you know, still a little, a little weird, but, um, what else was I going to say? The magnets, I'm trying to think. Oh, of course, I, uh, shipped Joyce and Hopper, but I thought it wasn't going to happen at first, because they kept holding it off and stuff. But, um, obviously, now that Hopper's dead, it's a little hard to maintain a relationship, so... Hopefully that happens when Opera comes back, you know. Um, what else? What else? Somebody pointed out that um, only people with B names die, as in Barb, Bob, and Billy. I mean, I don't know. That's how it is. Uh, but um, yeah, Barb, man. She didn't. She didn't last long. That's unfortunate, man. There's so many memes about Barb. So many jokes about how they left her. There's like a skit about it I just watched uh, recently. It was so funny, but I'm just saying, you know, like they they left her and things like that. But um, and they all obviously I know I know aging is a thing, but they all got a lot older and. You know what I mean? Uh, out of them, out of all of them, Caleb, literally, like, I, I had an image in my head, faintly, of what they looked like, uh, during season two, right? And, and I saw Caleb, and I was like, he had, like, uh, like a good hairstyle, I don't know if he, he hasn't had that, and then he had, like, a little beard, beard and a little stash going, and I was like, like, I don't know, he just looked so different. But, um, what else?
scenes. I really enjoyed the um, the old school mall. I thought it was super cool. Um, one thing I could have dealt without was the Mrs. Wheeler and Billy thing. <laughs> it was uh, a little weird, a little weird. But um, yeah. What else? Could have dealt without that. Oh, that, that was this freaky stuff, man. How the, um, whatever it was, why can't it, the mind flare was like taking these people. Oh my gosh, that was, that was some weird stuff. Um, I was very surprised by that though. So Nancy wanted to be like a detective type thing. And then, Oh, yeah, and they were, like, eating fertilizer and stuff, all that stuff, but, um, and in the end, the people just walked up, and they just, like, broke down, and it just became larger. I thought that was crazy. Um, yeah. What else? The hospital scene, where the thing's there. I normally don't prepare for these videos, because, like, it's something I so I can just ramble, and I think I have rambled, but like, I just feel like I'm, I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore, because <laughs> I'm trying to think of some, like, these, oh my gosh, I was, I didn't say this yet, I think 11 is like crazy overpowered, like, it's, it's crazy, like, literally, like, she just seemed like a secret weapon the whole time, like, literally like this giant beast, and she was just like throwing it around the room. I mean, she should have that much power because obviously it's like a giant mind flare beast type thing, but, but dang, like I had never underestimated her power, but it's just, she's very powerful. And I, that got me thinking, especially when she started to lose her power, what the heck are they going to do without her power? Like, literally, if this thing comes back, or it's, like, ginormous or something, like, what are they going to do? Because she really did all the work. Like, I don't think a gun's really going to affect it too much. Um, you need a lot of guns. And um, somebody else said, oh, that's the other thing. If that's the thing, if Dustin and... Um, Susie didn't sing that song. Billy would be alive. Yeah. And then Hopper as well, maybe. I can't remember what it was. Which is kind of true because I actually ended up on a video before I watched the, the season. Or before, I, maybe I was like two or three episodes in. One, two or three episodes in. And I saw a comment that said spoiler, and I think this is a common type of comment where it says spoiler, like something stupid, like it'll say like spoiler, you have good luck for 2019, like to activate, you know, something like that, or a spoiler, like, I don't know, I expected something stupid, right, or like something like, something super obvious about the season, but it really was a spoiler. And it said something about how if they didn't sing the song, Hopper would still be alive, obviously. They thought Hopper was dead. But, um, so I read that and I was like, oh crap, he's gonna die. But people were also, I heard others saying it was either gonna be like Steve or Hopper. And I'm like, so when I saw Hopper would still be alive, I wasn't relieved, but come on, we can't lose Steve, dude. Like, he's got good hair. He's a mom. My gum just, like, almost flew out of my mouth there. But, I don't know. I, I couldn't. We, we just can't lose Steve. It can't. cannot happen. Steve has to stay forever. Now, Hopper is also, I think, again, not dead, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, I could have dealt without that song. Susie was not aware of what was really happening there. So I guess I can't blame her, but I mean, come on, man. And again, totally forgot 
wasn't present day because like obviously nowadays what do you need some equation you can literally just search it up and the cell tower thing he had to set up that cell tower on the mountain call so i didn't really like that mike and 11 kept like leaving their their friends and all like obviously when he set up the cell tower whatever that that was um mike was like okay well, we're gonna go and obviously they left and i was like i don't know i just felt like the main friend group was kind of splitting apart and i really liked that and then obviously i think it was just left with noah or will and dustin and um and then will left too right i think i can't remember i think it did and then it was just him waiting for Susie. But I'm glad we got to meet Susie. I'm not glad she just had to sing that song. But and I know there was like, there was some editing on Gaten's voice. But I was very impressed. Like when he started singing that, like that first line, I was like, wow, not a bad singer. And although they were great singers, uh, the stakes were kind of high. Things had to get done. <laughs> so, could have dealt without the song. But, um, people who say it was the best scene, I mean, Billy could still be alive. Like, man, I really wanted to see Max and Billy as friends. It's just, Billy is a nice person. I don't know. And I kind of wanted to see a scene where... Like, something with his dad happened, like he stood up to his dad, or like the mom said something like, don't slap him, or not the mom, I think it was his girlfriend, I can't remember. But like, some type of, like, standing up to him. But, um, yeah, very sad, he died. I saw memes about how, like, Steve has been every season just beat up, like, black eye or bloody or something. Things like that. So I think I've about covered everything I wanted to talk about at least. If you have anything I didn't talk about that you were like, how did you miss that? Leave it in the comments below. Um, I read all the comments. There's there's not millions, trust me, so I will read them. Um, but um, yeah, so if you have any suggestions, anything you didn't like, anything you liked, if you just want to say I love Stranger Things, leave in the comments. Also, please, 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 I don't want to beg you. I was just a trigger. I'm not, like, begging you. Hit that subscribe button. It means so much, and we're nearing 400. That's crazy. So, if you could hit the subscribe button, it would mean a heck of a lot. And if you want to hit the bell, so you know when we upload, so you can just, you know, fall asleep relax instantaneously then hit that bell and with that said thank you so much for watching and i will see you